Hi guys, it's May here. Welcome to my channel. And uh, today, I'm just going to show you guys how to save money on groceries effectively. Um, I wrote down all the stuff that I'm going to talk about. So this way, I, I won't miss anything. The first thing on my list is plan your day for grocery shopping. Most of the time when we do grocery shopping, the minute we enter the store, it seems like we do so many things that we're not supposed to be doing. One, we buy the things that we don't really need. And, and second, when we are inside the grocery store, we tend to do panic buying. Panic buying means, you know, buying stuff that is not really necessary just because they are on sale. Uh, I make my list to all the things that I need to buy and i always stick on that list i do grocery shopping i always bring my calculator as well so when i pick my stuff i put it on the calculator and i always weigh the stuff that i buy let's say if i buy oranges if it is not if i'm not buying in bulk then i always weigh it and then, and then i calculate and then i put it on my on my calculator this way you stick on the budget that you have okay that's one thing to to save and uh doing the calculating stuff um when you pay in the in the counter you're not going to be surprised that oh my gosh i i i bought too much you know and if you don't have money that will be very very embarrassing so first plan your day make your list bring your calculator and if the if the stuff that you're buying the groceries that you're buying if it needs to be weighed then you have to weigh it so this way you know how much, much stuff you're buying so that's my first one number two the best way to save is to check your flyers okay if you have flyers at home do your list check on the flyers the stuff that you're buying is on sale and um one thing that i recommend is that try to clip uh some coupons couponing saves you a lot of money my sister and i we do that now before we don't care you know if if we want to buy something you know we just pay we just go to the store and buy now that everything is getting so expensive we learn how to do couponing it's for us it sounds funny i i've never checked the flyers every time i go to the store i just buy what i need but now yes we started doing couponing and couponing really saves you a lot of money so if the items that you that you need is on sale and if it has coupon then use the coupon you guys it saves you a lot of money number three try to do price match i know back home i don't think back home they do this but here in north america especially here in canada they do price matching here in north america most of the supermarkets or grocery stores they do price matching i know they don't do this back home and hopefully they will implement this because you know you can this is one way to save money so what i mean by uh, price match is let's say if you are at walmart right and th this is just an example okay you have two flyers one is at walmart one is from superstore so let's say you are at walmart and the butter cost at walmart is let's say five dollars and when you check on superstore flyers the butter is just two dollars and 97 cents so you can use the flyers from superstore to have it price match at walmart so that way when you buy the butter you pay the amount of of price from superstore even though you are at walmart you guys know what i mean so when you go to the store you have to have two flyers if you go to walmart and if you shop at superstore you bring the flyers at superstore as well whichever is cheaper you can always use those flyers to present to the teller or to the cashier 
and you you can always say okay uh at superstore this is 297 and here it's six dollars can you please do a price match so since walmart always do the price match they will take the 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 price of the butter from the superstore this is what i mean about you know price matching number four the number four tips single or bulk okay guys number four single or bulk which one is better to buy and which is more cheaper i'm going to use the example of the peppers one pepper like this here this is four dollars and 48 cents per pound so this one pepper like this probably it will cost you like around two dollars something to 29 for one whereas if we're going to buy bulk i'll show you guys over here see this is one whole bag of peppers right so the one whole bag of peppers is only four dollars and 98 cents so if you're buying if you want to save money which one is better I know you guys don't really cook big but I know one of this one bag of this will last for at least a week or so depends on how much you guys cook so if I were you guys buy the bulk ones I know it's a little bit more the amount is bigger but I think it's more cheaper and that's how I do it I buy bulk better than buying a single piece of like let's say for example this pepper okay and my number five tips brand name or no name does it really matter is there any difference between brand name and no name product brand name product usually people will say oh brand names you know it's branded because it's good it it's delicious it's uh you know they have the complete ingredients whereas with no name you can buy it cheaper you know some say that it's no good and most of the time says that you know um it's not the quality they don't have a quality uh compared to buying brand names uh product for me guys like I said, it's getting so expensive here in North America. The cost of living is just getting higher and higher and higher. So for me, I learn how to buy no name, especially when I do my cooking. You can see some of my ingredients has, you know, a no name brand. Um, it might be true that the um, no name has a little lower quality compared to brand name. And... It is also true that most of the time with branded stuff is not really as good as the no name stuff. What I learned about no name brands is is um when company make no name brand, it doesn't mean that it's a low quality brand. Sometimes they put extra on their product so that people will buy it. People with a lower income, people that are on budget, people that have a lot of kids and can't afford to buy groceries. Company with a no-name brand like Superstore, they have no name. And uh, they make an extra effort to make it at least, even if it is cheap, it still has the quality when you make the food. So... For me, most of the times, I buy no-name product now. When cooking, guys, it doesn't matter what kind of... It doesn't matter what kind of products you guys use. Like, for me, it doesn't matter. I don't know for you guys. But for me, it doesn't matter if I buy brand names or no-names. When cooking, it's always in the heart. So, when you guys cook, it doesn't matter if it is branded or not. It's just about how you make the food. How you make the food taste tasty um delicious tasty delicious um and presentable and eatable you know when you guys cook from the heart it always give um a good taste it always um people will appreciate it more and people will never know if using a brand name products or a no name product it's just a matter on how you cook the food so this is how i'm learning before i just spend 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 um i'm not bragging guys but you know for those of you that know me i don't really check the flyers i don't really do couponing 
But now I'm learning. I'm learning the hard way. But I'm having fun doing couponing with my sister. Sometimes we can spend like five hundred dollars groceries, and that's only for two weeks. But you know, with that five hundred dollars, I also give to my brother because he has three kids and one is in university. So it's 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 you know it's it's nice that I can I can share it with my brother, or me and my sister can share it with my brother. So, yeah. So, that is my tips for couponing, guys. First, plan your day. Uh, make sure you do your list. You have to bring your calculator. And if, if things need to be weighed, you have to weigh it. Second, uh, check your flyers. Cut those coupons. And then, ter and third, try to do a uh, price match. Make sure you do price match, you guys. Because that will save you a lot of money. Um, and for me, I rather buy bulk than buying single. Yes, you have extra, but you always need extra in the future. And for the number five tips, try no name brand, you guys. No name brand, you know, it always give you extra money to save so you can buy something else if you guys like this video please give this one a thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet please don't forget to subscribe i hope you guys learned something from me my people are here now so i'll see you guys later bye guys